Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I wasn't even gonna film today, but you know, it was just one of those impulse things that I was like, I want the new iPhone. So I made an appointment for the Apple store and I'm thinking that I'm gonna do like the buyback plan or whatever where they buy this phone and then I just get a new phone. I was watching KK and Baby J, all right, like normal. Saw that Karen got the new iPhone. So I had to get the new iPhone. Comment down below if you know where that's from. So when she was like unboxing it and stuff, it was the iPhone 12 Pro and it wasn't the Max. And I was thinking that I wanted the Max, but I didn't want to spend that much money. But when she did the unboxing and like showed the camera and everything, it's only a little smaller than this and I think this is actually too big this is the iPhone XS Max or 10s Max however you want to say it and I feel like this one is a little bit big for me so if it is a little bit smaller um, I think it would be better because my thumb can't reach the like end of this phone when I'm like trying to type and stuff and it can be kind of frustrating even though I don't really like have a lot of people to talk to I know that sounds kind of sad when Kwa said it was like the iPhone 5 and 5s that was my favorite phone ever actually the iPhone 5 was because then the like touch ID thing with your thumb was like, kind of weird in my opinion and I didn't really like that design but the iPhone 5 was my favorite phone ever and he like kind of compared it because it was kind of like a boxy shape I'm gonna go get Chick-fil-A, um, I'm gonna get a chicken biscuit. Yeah, it's only like 10 right now. The reason why I do not support Chick-fil-A, I don't like Chick-fil-A, but their food is just really good and I really like it. Um, they don't like gay people, so obviously like I don't want to support a company like a lot that doesn't support my family and stuff because I mean, I don't, I shouldn't have to explain that. I still like their food. I have been craving Chick-fil-A since my friend's bachelorette party because when we went to Magic Kingdom this Saturday, it was October. October 24th, um, we went to Disney and I was like, you know, I really wanted Chick-fil-A, right? Um, just to, you know, get some fattening food in me for the day. It started off really bad. There was this big long line and I didn't want to be like super late for the park. So I was like, okay, screw it. So then I went to Starbucks and I got like a blueberry muffin and a cake pop and that held me over with like my Starbucks drink. Yeah. So I have been craving Chick-fil-A ever since October 24th and today is the perfect day. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's just go to Chick-fil-A and get the chicken biscuit. And just like that, it was literally two minutes and I already ordered and everything. I honestly think it's because it's Friday morning and like a lot of people at this time, 10, 10, 10, 17, people are at work. So like they're not in this line. So A plus for me, I think it was because I came on like a Saturday morning in the past. So perfect timing. And now I'm just gonna get my order and eat. I only get these like once in a blue moon yes there was a blue moon on halloween so that's why i said that i only get these a couple times i don't know every six months um i normally got chicken biscuits a lot more because of work they would always have chick-fil-a like during our staff meetings and now since we don't have that anymore because of like covid and stuff we're not in the office i don't get this so that's why i'm like maybe that's why i'm craving it yeah i'm almost to the front so i'm happy the beautiful chicken biscuit. Oh my gosh. I already feel all the grease and fattening and clogged arteries, but it is so worth it. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, just got out of the shower. Hair's still looking very good, I might add. Um, I'm eating my little salmon here, and after I'm probably going to go to the mall. Look at this beautiful and then also have my vitamins over here. Okay, so before I head out, which is gonna be like right now, just wanna show you my outfit. It's super plain, but I wanna show you guys cause it's so cute. It's just like a plain black romper jumpsuit thing and the legs aren't too long. That is freaking amazing. Again, this is from Madison, one of my friend's friends, so. Thanks girl, she probably doesn't watch this, but anyway, my hair's still a little wet, but it's okay. Just want to show you guys to add to the contents. Let's go to the mall. Okay, we made it to the Apple store and hopefully I'll be able to get the new phone soon. I'll miss this one. I love this phone. This is probably like my favorite phone. Um, it is a little bit big. Like my finger can't like stretch all the way to the other side. So the size is a little bit big, but overall I love this camera design. This is probably my favorite like 
camera look. I don't really like the three dots, but it's all right. My appointment's at 4.30 and it's like four right now. So that's why I'm just gonna probably sit here and chill out. This is so freaking pretty. I want this one so bad. Unfortunately, they don't have the unlocked version. Oh, it's perfect. So I'm not gonna be getting one today. I'm so sad. So like comparing the phones, it's not that much smaller. Well, this is a turn of events. Um, I didn't get the iPhone because they didn't have any of the unlocked phones. They barely had any phones, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Every time, like I was telling Sherry this, it would not be a good Alex iPhone experience if something didn't go wrong. Like stuff always goes wrong when I'm like trying to get the new phone or whatever. That's why last year I was just like, I didn't even try because it's just too hard. You know, if they w don't have the product, they need to market it as like order online. But on the bright side, I did get to see the phone in real life and the size is freaking perfect. Like I do recommend it for the size and the design. It's a lot more, I don't know, like it's easier to like hold in your hand. And I really like the white, the silver, but I do think I'm gonna get the gold the gold is really pretty um i love looking at it so i think i'm gonna go with the gold so yeah i guess i'm just gonna order the darn thing and then i'm gonna bring this phone back so they can buy it back from me so i can get some money for it yeah so i just like wasted a whole part of my day to like for nothing so that really sucks my video is gonna go up super late it's fine you know we all have those days right i just wish that apple like i don't know like make more products just like be smarter about like people are gonna want to get it i don't know i say this every year every year so i just feel like i'm repeating myself but anyway that is going to be it for this like clip of nothing i'm gonna go home I'm gonna edit and probably eat dinner okay so i know that the previous clip was a little negative but i'm sure you guys can feel me like every time like i am not making this up i'm sure you can go back on my channel and see like different phone videos whenever i order i have no problems it just like comes but whenever i want to shop in person there's always something to make this vlog a little bit more positive and uplifting i got a little package i ordered this from manda31409 she is a a youtuber here on YouTube she has this like crystal shop um, if I remember I'll put the link down below oh it comes so cute little packaging some confetti paper we have a little goodie bag thing and then here's the crystal I hope she included the stand thing uh, but that's it for the box Hopefully she included the stand. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing if she didn't. Oh, it is there. Okay, it's in the little bag. It's called Selenite. And honestly, I just got it. I mean, I know that there's a lot of healing properties within crystals and stuff, but honestly, I got it because it's super pretty and it matches my room. So that's the reason why I got it. Ooh. Look at how pretty this is. And apparently this can't get wet. It'll like disintegrate. I don't really know what, but I love bracelets and jewelry that have this like kind of, I don't know, like line to it. Like look at the like flash there. It's so pretty. I mean, I'm definitely gonna put this in my room. It's so pretty. This is a little bag that she gives her customers, I guess. We got a little sticker and a card. So it just like looks like that. I already have one of these, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. Um, and then like candy, a flower petal. But this is a little uh, stand that it goes on and you just like set it there. There's different like sphere stands and stuff, but like, I don't know. This one just looks a lot better. I don't know if I'll get another something to put it on. I do have some stuff that I could use to put it on, but overall I do now finally have a crystal ball. I'm just coming on here to end this video. I haven't ended it and I haven't updated you guys. It's been like a day. Oh, perfect. So I've just been chilling out, kind of doing nothing, kind of slacking on the YouTube game. Um, I'm probably gonna hopefully edit this today. I did end up ordering the phone. I just ordered from the Apple app and it should be getting here November 30th. I don't know why it takes so long. You would think in like pre-production and like production, they would like make all the phones like ready to go out. I don't know. Sorry for my heatedness earlier. I was just like over it. I mean, every year, almost every year. I can't say every year. Almost every year, I've always had issues with like getting the new iPhone. I didn't have an upgrade in like 2016. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm just saying that I should have just known and I should just order every time, but I just get excited. And I hate that like, you know, there's an AT&T version, then there's a Verizon version, and then there's a T-Mobile version. Just make them all unlocked so everyone can enjoy the phone because my phone company, I don't have an on-brand phone company because I'm not about to spend all that money. I have a company called Cricket and it's 
it's like a third party. It's owned by AT&T. I just think they should all make the phones unlocked so they can be working with all of the phone companies and they should order a lot of phones because there's gonna be people that want them. So I don't know, or they should just say, hey, you know, order online because of like COVID and everything. They shouldn't even have anyone in the stores or you can go to the store to see it in person, but then, you know, order it online. They should just do that if they, always like run out. I know that there's people in research teams that like, you know, every year that a new phone comes out, they probably have the stats on how many phones, or they should take surveys of like people that try to come in to get a phone. So then they know for next year, be a little bit more proactive with the stats and the research and stuff. And I'm not even good at that stuff. And I know to probably do that in this situation. Okay, but anyway, I'm trying to end this video and it's not going too well. So yes, I did get the phone. I got a new case and then I ordered a screen protector on Amazon for it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I thought it was gonna turn out differently, but that's okay. Life happens again I'm gonna take it out on my workout today um question of the day have you experienced something like this like you know you get your hopes up for something this is why I don't get excited for like a lot of stuff um that sounds really sad but like yeah I'm just like I don't know I try to keep it like cool for like the time being and then you know if I get you know disappointed I won't be that disappointed yeah so let me know in the comments if you have experienced something like this give this video a thumbs up for sympathy and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Thank <laughs> you.